What's up guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be drawing the Oviraptor from Jurassic World. This is a kind of cool sort of raptor, birds type thing. I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser for these and hit pause if I go too fast. So we start with his eye, heads up top right hand corner of my page, right? So center points about here, we'll just come up over to the right. Head will be in here. And we start with the eye. So we curve a line up and over, lemon shaped, really big eye, right? So like up and down and then the bottom curves around like that. And then the iris, just curved line here, curved line here, and the pupil, right in the middle. And you just color that black, and then we'll go black around the eye as well in this one. That's what it looks like in the picture anyway. Okay, and if you want, like you can add a bit of a shadow on top of the eye and draw a circle for a highlight. Some people like to do this, some people don't. So it's optional. You could do it with color as well. Okay, so then we have eyelid lines around. Like so. And then we have like a frowning sort of eyebrow sort of shape here. This could have like wrinkles on it and stuff. And some more sort of wrinkles just around his eye as well. Around his mouth and stuff. So, the top beak sort of area is quite big, right? So his mouth is open and he's kind of screeching, right? So just from say the eye down to here, we've got like the beak that curves around to a point, kind of bumps twice like that. And it goes up around the eye. And it's got this red coloring just here stops kind of here, the red, but then some of the skin keeps going around here. So I'll just finish the front so it makes a bit more sense for you. So like there, see, that's the beak. And we have a nostril right up near the eye at the top here. So then he has a big like horn at the top of the head, curves around, down, like so. And this will have like all sort of texture lines and stuff on the beak and around the nostril and coming up this way. And it kind of joins the head here. And this will be feathers eventually so it'll come down to like this feathered sort of area down here so this would be like skin and then feathers so bottom of the mouth so curves around like so and then the beak comes down to here and then it comes down to a point, back up, around like so. And this can have sort of textures on it and stuff like that as well. See the tongue just sticking out here, it's like it's screeching. And then just the side of the tongue there. And then the back of the mouth just comes down like that. Like some gum line there, and then the other side of the open mouth here. Might have some textures inside here. And then there's like a skin flap, just comes down from the mouth here, so it comes around back into the mouth here, right? So this is like a pink sort of area. So 
So in the jaw, it's when it just comes up around here and joins these feathers. And then this feathered area sort of down like so. And eventually this will go down the neck, kind of coming down this way. Maybe from up here, actually. This is all sort of a feathered area. And just some more sort of skin lines and texture lines here. So the neck then comes down. And this will be like a sketchy sort of hairy line because it is all sort of feathers coming down here. Or fur, at least. And then on this side, something similar. Down into the body here. So in the outside of this fur is like here. Curving down. And then there's all skin lines and things just coming across this. So this is like scales and skin. And then this is all feathers. So you can add like texture lines. Little dashes like this. Just to make it look a little bit textured, that it's not like smooth. <clears throat> so big feathers coming off the head, right? So we start at the bottom and we just go feather here. And then feather maybe there. Like so and then keeps going sort of around the head. Kind of like that. Right, so rest of the body, what we can see. So the back, so that's the neck. So it's sort of the back is like a little bit higher up, right? And it's kind of a feathery sort of thing that has these little spikes sticking up every now and then. Okay. And this goes up to like a big feathery tail, right? So it starts to have all these big feather lines then curving around. And remember, hair moves and stuff, doesn't, so you don't have to draw it exactly like mine. It's just going up this way. This big sort of bushy tail. So, right, and this feather line continues along the body, right? So it's got this white and black sort of area. So this feather line keeps going, spiking up sort of to there. And this will have all texture. All coming down like this. Right, so in the bottom of the tail, I think it has like skin under here, right? So 
curves down, kind of a smooth line, right? And then we'll have like more sort of feather fur lines there. And then we meet a leg, which is feathery and furry as well. Comes down to about the knee, right? And then it becomes scaly. The knee or the shin. Let's say the shin. And the foot just goes off my page. If you want to draw the feet, you can, but we'll just stop it there. And then this goes out. Leg like that. Okay. And then that, that black line that runs across the body, we will draw it in just so we know where it is. So it goes up around the leg. So it's like a black stripe just there. And then claws that stick out here, right? So we've got like a shoulder and a claw just sticking out here. So shoulder first. The chest is there, right? And it can be like furry. And then arm comes down. Around to these big sort of raptor claws that stick out, right? So these big spikes. We're going to put feather stopping sort of here. All right, and then another claw comes out this way. Like so. And then one more coming out from behind that one. Like that. And then he's got like feathers coming down from his elbow. Right, so the body sort of keeps going this way. And we meet another sort of hand and shoulder here, right? So the shoulder for that is like here. And like so, we put it here. And then tricep comes down to like the elbow. Bicep there. Got some texture lines on that. Like the chest and collarbones and stuff. So like a chest sort of line here. Right, and then the arm comes out to the finger, which kind of bumps out here. We've got a claw. And then another finger, curving that way, back up, now to the back of the hand. And again, big sharp sort of talons, talony claws. And another one sticking out here. And just like skin lines on top. And we'll let the fur sort of stop here. And then the body keeps going sort of down, joins the tail behind the leg. Oh yeah, and on the elbow, some feather lines. And just some textures and stuff on this. And we should see another little leg sticking down here, right? So, kind of maybe comes back a little bit that way. And then the heel kind of sticks out here, goes down off the page. All right, and then if you want, you can sort of darken up some edge lines, tidy up your lines, but that's pretty much it. 
Right, but I think that'll do. Over your raptor. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.